Hello everybody, Grace Steel Plays, and we're back with more The Long Dark Interloper series, No Time for BS. So there's a couple things I want to do real quick. We pretty much finished everything that we needed to do up in here. Let's go ahead and grab a brand. And I want to try and get out of here ASAP and get to the rural crossroads. The other thing that I want to see if we can do is while we're at the rural crossroads, I really need to start looking for some cattail stalks. Because the problem is, right now, all that we have, food-wise, of course, things are looking like crap outside. The only things that we have food-wise right now are uh, canned supplies, and that is not good uh, in any way, shape, or form. Let me take a look real quick here at where we're heading. Okay, good. Now, there's two sets of bridges here. There's one bridge over that way, but I think if we cut this way, we'll be able to get to... There's the bridge. I think if we cut this way, we should be able to get to the rural crossroads pretty quick. I'm also looking around for some cattail stalks. Oh, God. Of course things are getting terrible. I tell you, it's true. The moment we step outside, things get hectic. I could have sworn, though... I could have sworn I saw some cattail stalks over here, and I think I did. I think I see them right over here. Yep, sure do. At least a couple of them. All right, let's grab these real fast. Crap, that's not what I wanted to do. I hate that the left mouse button drops your brand to the ground because I do need this. Thank you. All right, maybe we'll just... It's like pickup sticks. You just keep throwing it. There we are. It probably ruins the duration by doing this. Ooh, there is a couple of cattail stalks here. We're gonna have to really huff, huff it, though. Oh, wow. Oh, this is a friggin' gold mine. Oh, we're gonna eat like kings tonight, boys. That's assuming I can get to civilization before things get way out of hand here, which they already kind of look like they're doing. This may be foolishness. Really? Oh, I hate this so much. I, like, I get all crazy and I start clicking fast to try and grab the cattail stalks. And this is what happens when I do it. Oh, there's a little bunny over there. God, I thought it was a wolf or something. Grab another one here. Oh, man, this is a fantastic plethora of cattail stalks. We may even need to start a fire over here. Uh, there's another cattail stalk there. Let me see. Oh, wow, we're at numb already. Yeah, I'm going to have to find a spot here. Because getting hypothermia would be the worst. Okay. Let's, uh, let's hunker down behind one of these little rocks. Ooh, actually, this over here looks pretty damn good. Plus, there's another cattail stalk here. I don't need this anymore. Let's hunker down right over here. I think that should be good. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Throw down a little fire real quick. Yep. A book. I'll do it. Again, I hate to use these matches for this, but sometimes it's more about staying alive than trying to hoard what you've got. And trust me, I am all about hoarding. Oh god, please work, book. We've got an 80% chance to do this. I hate how long it takes, though. It's like agonizing. Look at this, it's so slow. It's like, oh, Gray, how much do you believe in the gods of wilderness? Are you prepared to pray to them? Or will you be indignant? Ugh, thank you, god. All right, a couple of these. If we can get to those buildings, we're gonna have plenty more sticks. So I'm not worried about using this reclaimed wood to try and keep things hot and heavy. Especially because they're no good to us if we're dead anyway. A little bit of rosehip tea there, should we need it. What's the temperature like outside? Excellent. 10 degrees, 12 degrees, looking good. While we're here, we'll melt some snow because we don't want to let this fire go to waste. Got 10 hours of daylight left. And I'm hoping that things don't get any worse than they are right now when it comes to the weather. We are pretty tired because we've been, uh... Been working hard just trying to get around. So, there's something to consider. You can hear our poor girl taking a little yawn there. Go drink down some of this real quick. I'm not gonna eat these cattail stalks, though. I wanna save those for when we get closer to civilization and we're inside so we can sleep. Uh, 13 degrees Celsius still by this fire. That's not bad at all. The tired meter is not going down that fast, so that's good. I could rewarm the tea and drink it, 
but quite frankly, we need all the tea we can get right now. All right, good. We're going to be perfect. Good, good, good. 14 degrees Celsius. It looks like it's actually getting a little bit warmer. Let me go ahead and boil this off. And we are not encumbered yet, which is good, but the tiredness is going to end up affecting us pretty bad. Okay. Take a brand. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, God. Oh, no. All right, we're moving. We can't stay outside like this all night. Of course. Of course. A blizzard. Why Why wouldn't there be a blizzard, right, guys? All right, we're moving. Oh. Negative 34 degrees. And I can't see a damn thing. Okay, now here's... If we follow this... It should bring us to the main road. Let me see here. I don't even think I can get... Ugh. I was gonna say, I don't even think I can get any kind of protection from this wind. Man, having the headphones on in this game is the best. I can't even hear myself think. But it's really, really cool. 20 degrees if we get low enough. Negative 41 if we're not low enough. See right there, it just went back up to, or down to negative 41. We need to move. Oh, come on, baby. Get. Yeah, I know. We're, I'm trying. I'm trying. Don't you die on me. If we get hypothermia at this point, I guess it's just the price of doing business. We should be able to stay inside for at least a little while, though. Oh, come on. Keep walking. Okay, this should protect us a little bit right about here. There we go. There's those power lines. That's what I wanted to see. All right, we need to head this way. Got a little bit more, though. Get rid of this stick. It's not doing anything for us. Oh, God. Oh, God in heaven. Oh, it is freezing outside. Yes, we're there. Or we're where we need to be. Just hopefully all the houses haven't burned down. Yes! Run, girl. Run, 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 run. Oh, come on. Don't get hypothermia. Come on, guys. Wish it with me. Wish it with me. Use your wishing stones. Boom! Six degrees is tight. Oh, long dark. Why do you torment me like this? There's a lot of good cattails in this area, though which we should be able to harvest. The big issue though is that before we run over to that other house, we need to warm up a little bit. Um, I may even break down a couple of these crates or something just to kind of pass the time. I hate to just not do anything. Man, is there really nothing in here at all? Nothing on any of these shelves or nothing? Zero, not even a candy bar. All right, 45 minutes. I'm not gonna break it down with our mallet though. How about this one? 45 minutes. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do this for an hour That's gonna get us warm enough to the point where we'll be able to go other to the other uh, go over to the other building Never anything behind those damn things either. <sighs> I think I need to lay down. Yeah, I know we'll lay down in a minute We still gotta we still gotta get to this last house, and I think we can bunk down there for a little bit Fantastic outside lovely Loving the weather now. I think this is the rural store so, yep, it is. So we still need to go across the bridge to get to a place where we can use a, a bed. Um, another sewing kit. I'll take it. Come on, just one piece of beef jerky or something, man. Okay, pinnacle peaches. Again, I hate it because we... Is that something in there or is that just... Okay, it's not. It's just the, the way the fridge looks. I hate it because we can't get through it. Oh, God. God in heaven, we can't get through it without losing calories. Which is very, very terrible. Do not want to lose calories on stuff like Pinnacle Peaches. Because I think the one time we opened up a can, we lost, what, like 35% of the calories? Maybe a nice... Ah, oh, come on. I was hoping for some herbal tea in there. And... I don't expect to find a hacksaw, quite honestly, in this, uh in this entire zone right now. If we haven't found it yet, I don't think we're gonna get it. But, if I could find a 
one of the can openers, guys. I think we would, uh, I think we would start to stabilize a little bit. I'd be really happy with that. Search on through here. Nothing. Well, all right. You know, sometimes you win some, you lose some. Check out the temperature. We're still pretty cold, but check over here too. I just want to be extra careful. This is, this is the type of mode where even one damn candy bar would change things around. You can see those matches. I was so happy to find those matches. That's how this game is different than it used to be. Um, you know, how, how things have changed, I should say, in, in this new mode, and that's what I love about it so much. Everything's looking good on our equipment and clothing. We do have one cup of rose tea. Um, interesting. Our antibiotics are really going down kind of fast. 13 pieces of wood, seven more sticks, so that's fine. 13 pieces of timber, and I know we have a bunch of cattails, uh, cattail heads as well. That we can, yeah, right here, you can see 12 of those. All right. We're super tired, though. Let's see if we can get to one of the houses where we can sleep. We've got to sleep. We can't just stay over here. We don't have a bedroll, either. Man, I would like to see a bedroll. Here we go. Cross the bridge. Let's do this, guys. Walking into the... Running into the wind, I should say. Negative 26 degrees. Um, and there's really no place that I can run to stop the wind. That house is burned down over there. I think we've got one that is functional behind it, though. We do. All right, let's get inside. Man, you can hear how crazy... How crazy that wind is out there. It's awesome. I love it. We've got a dead guy in here with us, too. So someone to keep us company. Now, this I don't think is a house where you can sleep, though. Yeah, it's not. So we're just kind of hoping for some items on this guy. Maybe a scarf? Anything? Nothing. So how many times has that been now that we've <laughs> we've swung and missed? Oh, newsprint, though. Don't want to miss that. We could use it. Nothing under there. I don't even know how many hours of daylight is left. We haven't... This, this storm has been here for a while now. All right, let's break down one of these boxes real quick. Not with the hammer. Um, oh, we're exhausted now as well. I do have to consider that. Okay, we need to hit the bed because we're gonna we're gonna double lose condition if I don't if I don't get us there, and we're gonna need to sleep for twelve hours too. All right, let's get out of here. Over to the other house. You can see it right over there. I guess on the way over, we'll check this car out real quick. Nothing. Negative seven degrees inside of here. In the trunk. Come on, come on, come on. Don't take so long, don't take so long. Anything, anything, nothing. Our crowbar has done nothing for us. And man, you can see how quickly our temperature's going down. Tomorrow though, when it's nice outside, we'll go down by the water's edge. Hopefully we'll get like six more cattail stalks or something. That would really help. And this is it, man. This is gonna be the base of operations. This is a nice house. This will be good for, uh, for a little while. I'm not even, well, no, we need to not search too much. I'll take this book just because it's on the way. I see some canned food over there. We'll worry about this tomorrow. We, not, we need to get to sleep because we're going to lose more, more and more condition as time goes on. Another dead guy. Huh, and he's got a scarf on. Come on, give me that damn scarf. He's, it's on him, right? Jesus. I seriously can't grab it. That sucks. All right, well, what can you do? Let's go over here. Go ahead and snag this soda. And then I'm probably going to eat like five of these cattail stalks. Let me see. We're going to want, I think, like 800 calories in us. And then we'll go to sleep with that. So let's see here. That brings us down to nine. Let's do one more. Okay, 840 something. Take a drink because, man, if, after sleeping for 12 hours, you don't want to... You don't want to get uh, dehydrated. And... 11 hours. Perfect. Let's do it. Now, there's one thing I recently found out, and I want to tell you guys this tip as well. You get cumulative increases to your, um... to your condition 
by sleeping in a row. So what I mean by that is the first hour that you sleep, you get a plus one Man, condition. Think about his food. The second hour that you sleep, you get a plus two, then a plus three, then a plus four, and it maxes out at seven. So what I was doing in the beginning is not what you want to do. And I was like sleeping for a couple hours and then I would wake up and I would sleep for a couple hours and I would wake up. You want to sleep as long as you can all in a row in one shot. Huh, I never go. thought I'd be dying, dying of starvation. Yeah, I know. Let's go through all these here. Sometimes there's something random in the uh, in the extra drawer there. Now we're gonna have to do another search around after this because it's super dark, and I'm not gonna like light a match or anything to look around. Man, I would like a lantern too. I don't know how rare the lanterns are. I can tell you, I have never seen one in all of my playthrough so far of uh, Interloper. So, I imagine they are fairly rare. Just checking the inside of these drawers, because every once in a while, there might be something random on the inside of the drawer there. I think there's a drawer here by this TV. There sure is. Grab this. I wonder if we can beat this bench down. Wow, we can. It gives you some cloth, some wood, and some tinder plugs. That is really good to know. I mean, we're doing fine on all those items, so it's not like a big deal. We can break down these crates, too. Do we have... Okay, good. I was just making sure we didn't have any calories left because I would hate to not get my calories... Uh, my calorie benefit for resting. But I know we're fully rested right now. Got some shelves over here. Every once in a while, you'll find maybe some matches on the shelves. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to search around. It is epically dark right now, so that's not great for you guys. I hate to keep you guys in the dark. I'd rather just search around by myself, and then I'll come back when the light is out, and uh, we'll we'll check a few things more then, and then we're going to try and head to the mines. All right, I'm back real quick. I thought about something that we could do together. I'm going to head down to this water's edge and see if we can find some more cattail stalks tonight, because we have plenty of, uh, condi not condition, we have plenty of energy right now, so there's no reason not to do a little bit of scrounging. Plus, the moon is high in the sky, man. It looks fantastic outside right now. And like I say, if we can get just a couple of couple of extra cattail stalks, this will be worth it. Alright, there's nothing seems to be over here. I think there may be some on this side. We're going to run just because it is kind of cold outside. It's negative 27 degrees Celsius. And we have some pretty decent gear on too. What is that? Oh, that's a deer. Okay, God almighty. Thought that was a friggin' wolf for a second. Right over here. Maybe some cattail stalks? I see some cattail stalks, guys. Oh, yeah, this is fantastic. Again, this is going to single-handedly keep us alive until we find ourselves a damn can opener. In fact, we may be able to get, like, six more of these tonight. You know, you'd never think that cattail stalks would be the end-all, be-all for your survival, but, uh, man, in the Interloper series, they sure freaking are. Oh, I was hoping there was some more over here, but it doesn't look like it. Very, very cold outside. Something to consider. Oh, man, that's a dead deer over there. Damn it, though. I don't have a hacksaw or anything. Let's grab these reishi mushrooms, though. Two reishi mushrooms make a tea. And a tea is 100 calories. And if we have a... It's a something that we can make where we don't have to uh, use a can opener. So there's that as well. Gonna go grab these crow's feathers real quick. We may even come back over here during the day. Hold on. Let me see something real quick. Now, I know I probably can't click on this thing. All right, I just wanted to see. More than 50% frozen, so we can't use our bare hands. Let's see if I can continue running here. Oh, God. We're... Oh, we're starting to get cold. We got to get back quick. But this was a successful run, I feel. We got three more cattail stalks and four racy mushrooms. So that's, uh, what is that? 450 calories for the cattail stalks, and then 200 for the, uh, the mushrooms. It's just as long as we don't get hypothermia. Hold on. Let me see if I can get in here real quick. Okay, good. We're in. So that worked out excellently. And we're a little bit more winded, which is good. We're going to be able to sleep for a while. Again, the cumulative sleeping is the best. But, you know, if we can't do it, we can't do it. I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. I'll probably eat maybe, like... Two cattails. Oh, and while while I wasn't on camera, I managed to find another can of dog food. So just something to consider. I'll probably eat two of these. Let me see. If you're fully if you're fully tired, it, you get 12 hours of sleep to fill yourself up. 
So we're probably right at about three hours of sleep or so. Do that. And let's see if we can do this. I'm not 100% sure that we can. But I'm willing to give it a shot here. 13 hours of daylight left. 12 hours of daylight left. All right. How we doing? Uh, all right. We got a little bit more of our, our condition back. So it's not that bad. Uh, pretty thirsty, though. Let's go grab this. I left the water in the toilet for right now. Just because. And I'm really considering whether I want to try and make a fire by that deer and harvest his entrails by hand. Uh, but the other thing that we need to do is we do need to take a look around now that there is light in here. Just, just because. Check all these cabinets. Check just kind of like behind this door. Man, you never know where these developers will hide something. You know what I mean? Every once in a while, they'll hide something in these little broken down cabinets here too. So that's why I always like to look. We got a whole bunch of shelves over there. Maybe inside the sink? No. Sometimes there is can openers laying against the wall. Negative. And I'm pretty sure there was nothing in the microwave, but I just wanted to double check on that. Now the bathroom, I did like a real quick run through. But I couldn't get too much done in the bathroom. <laughs> um, I mean, I checked the medicine cabinet. Again, I checked the toilet. Um, we've got some towels that we could get some cloth from, but we should have a lot of cloth. Well, I'll probably rip this up. Just because that'll make the day go by a little bit as well, and it'll be a little bit warmer when we go outside. Checking around here, nothing else. Okay, I'm, I feel comfortable. I feel confident. That we have gone through here. I, this keeps messing with me because I feel like it's a can of Pinnacle Peaches and it's just not. I feel pretty damn comfortable though. So right over here, nothing on any of the shelves. How about underneath the bench? Oh, we got the light shining right in our eyes. Every once in a while, something under those benches there. Maybe under this table as well. Doesn't look like anything. So we will take a real quick trip upstairs. Do one more look in these kind of corners over here. This drawer's been opened. Yes, it has. Nothing in here. All right. I I'm. I feel pretty comfortable that we have, we've we've done our best. And every once in a while, there's something random in the crates. If you kind of like arc your, your cursor over, you'll find something. And then I do like to do like, um, like a three... Not 360, but like as far as I can go from the bed... Just to kind of check underneath it and stuff. Because again, every once in a while, man. Oh, how about this? If I was a developer, I might put something back there. You never know. And then every once in a while, you'll, there'll be something random. Like right here in these little, in the little portions of the drawer. Maybe like a candy bar behind the freaking family photos. I don't know why you'd keep it there, but why not? Alright. So now, we're pretty, we're pretty good. Uh, we have plenty of energy I think we can try and make it to the mine. The big issue, though, is that I don't think we have a lot of ways to see in the dark. Actually, I don't think we have any ways to see in the dark. Besides sticks and matches. And God, I don't want to use a match. I was really hoping to find, like, a flare or something. I mean, I hate to use a flare for that reason, too. But, oh, man, that can of beans right there is messing with me. Damn it. Okay. All right. I'm satisfied. Let's get out of here. Well, assuming it allows us to get out of here. I'm never satisfied! I wanted to take one last look at that little cabinet. <laughs> um, but the big issue is, after we get past the mine, we're going to have to press on through, because we're not going to be able to sleep there. Alright, what's the temperature outside? Negative 29 degrees, man! For real? Alright. Maybe I should wait. Negative 29 degrees is terrible. Like, like, terrible. Yeah. I'm gonna break down cloth for like, I don't know, maybe like an hour. If we can even do that much. Break down some of this right here. We do have another sewing kit too. So that is something for us to consider. With that sewing kit, we could uh, repair things even if they're, even if they're not really that bad off. Like, what's our, well, er actually everything's really good. Wow. Um, there's really nothing here that would get us anything. I don't think that, I don't know, I don't think we ever managed to find any leather. We didn't. And this isn't really even giving us that much warmth. That's so terrible. I'm just looking around here for anything that could be done. I don't know. I mean, I guess I could repair this. 
Yeah, why not? That'll burn up 30 minutes. And like I said, we've got two sewing kits now. Again, I don't- I wouldn't normally suggest this, but... Right now, when there's nothing better for us to do, I'm willing to give it a shot. And to hope that the weather outside's a little bit better than, like, negative 29 degrees. You know, whatever. Okay, 21. That's better. I call that a win. I call that a win. So, what we have to do is we could follow this roadway or we can hike up this way, I think. A little bit of a shortcut if we go this way, maybe. And eventually, we should run into a pathway. Now, I'm going to try to not run that much. Just because we're going to need as much energy as possible, especially considering the... Oh, Jesus, God. All right, let me... uh. Give that critter right there a wide berth. Okay, good. He doesn't appear to be pissed off at us. And I thought I saw a shape down there as well. The only issue with not going by the roadway... Is that... I do have to take extra special care... When I come over these bends... That I don't hit a wolf. Alright, here we go. Come down this way. And eh, maybe I should have hugged the roadway. Probably would have gotten us around a little bit faster, and I would feel much more comfortable to be able to find the pathway that'll bring us to the mine. Now, once we're inside the mine, what we can do is make a fire right inside. I'll grab a brand, and then we're gonna have to run through the mine as fast as possible. Now... Man, I'm pretty sure... Man, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure... That doesn't take us to the mine? Hold on. I don't think it would. Let me double check here. Alright, hold on. Let me, uh... Let me wander real quick. Because it might be. That might, that might actually go straight to the mine. This little pathway right here. In fact, I think I remember seeing this before. Yeah. This this looks pretty good. This looks fairly promising. This is what I was talking about, how I'm not, like, really good with the zones yet, and how I wish I was a little bit better. With just being able to tell when I'm, like, hitting the right spot, so to speak. I know the mine is uphill in a pathway. Alright, here we go. Wish me luck because uh, we're gonna need it. I know it's I know it's way uphill too. We're getting some uh, we're getting some wind chill resistance, which is nice. But the numbness is coming on pretty quick. We don't have a lot longer here before we're numb. Now I know once you start getting close to the mine, yeah, this is good. Right here, this is perfect. Okay, this is the mine. Excellent. We're gonna we're gonna sprint right toward it. Oh God. Get inside, otherwise we're going to be at risk for hypothermia here in a little bit. Okay, I'm going to slow down. I'm going to slow down. I don't want to burn up too much energy. We made it. Now, this mine is pretty damn deep and pretty long, too. So, something to consider is we're going to be losing a lot. <laughs> Let me see. How far in can I make this fire? Okay, okay. All right, I can make it all the way up here, all the way over here. I think once you get to a certain point, you're not allowed to make it anymore. Yeah, see right there. So, let's put it right around here then. Good enough. Another book? Sure. We've got plenty of reclaimed wood. And I don't know what the temperature is right here. I think it's warm enough to the point where we're not going to get hypothermia. Don't quote me on that. It's got to be. I'm, I'm pretty sure that it's probably like 4 degrees Celsius in here. The mines are surprisingly warm. And, man, if you have a bedroll, we don't, they're a fantastic way to stay warm. And a good place to, to kind of hang out and live, too. You get a lot of coal in here as well. I do want to grab some coal, but I don't want to grab too much. Because we're not going to need, like, a ton. Alright, let me throw enough reclaimed wood over here so that it's, like, two hours of, uh, of wood right there. Seven degrees. Not bad. Grab a drink. We are a little bit winded. And we're going to grab a brand, and we're going to start hustling. I don't want to hustle too much, but 
I want to hustle enough to the point where I can get a lot of this out of the way. Now, I'm going to try and remember the appropriate way to go. And again, I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to pick up a little piece of coal here and there. What's the temperature? 10 degrees Celsius? Sounds good. I think we can hop down here. All right, let's go down this way then. Very good. Oh, man, two corridors. I'm not 100% sure. Let's go this way. That was the wrong way. Dead guy. Oh, dead guy with a torch. Dead guy with a torch. Oh, so important. Okay, good. Oh, yes. Oh, you beautiful bastard. Thank you for that. A couple more pieces of coal, too. Let's do a real... I don't... Again, I'm not, I don't want to grab too much of it, but I'll grab a couple here and there. We're going to need, I think, six by the time we get to Desolation Point. And we should have plenty. All right, I'm going to kind of, like, tap, tap, skip over here. All right, now we're encumbered. That's not so good. Um, I think that there's a workbench over here. Yes, there is. I wish this was a fire barrel. And it's not. A little bit of cloth. Oh, man, what is that? What is that? Yes! Oh! Oh, so good! So good! Oh, we're, we're our, man, we are set. We've got the hacksaw now. We've got the hammer. We have everything that we need to stay alive for quite some time. This brand's gonna go out, but we've got a torch. And that's gonna help us getting through this tunnel. I can already see a backpack over there as well. Right here. Of course I dropped the brand because it's not, it's not a game with Gray unless he drops something that's integral to his survival. Um, I do want to just take a real quick look over here. I didn't seem to see anything. And then maybe behind this box. Alright, nothing there either. Let's keep, let's keep kind of, kind of skipping along here. Another piece of coal. I'm going to leave it. I don't mind having a couple pieces of coal. The other thing that coal is really good for is creating a lot of heat very quickly. Because I think each piece of coal increases the temperature by what? Like 10 degrees Celsius? It's amazing. Now up is the way we need to go. But sometimes there's some good stuff down here. There's a frozen corpse. So I say you never know, man. Even if he has like a piece of clothing on him, that would have been fantastic. Of course, though, he didn't have anything. Getting very dark. Um... Crap. All right, our light is out. We're going to have to start up the torch. That's fine, though. I'm okay with using a match for this. We need, I mean, we got to do it. So, check the drawers over here. The good thing about the torches, too, is when I click on the left-click button, they're not going to uh, get ruined like that. Survive in the outdoors. Yep, I'll take that. I think we have all of the books now. Oh, man. Can we get any more lucky? How about a power bar? Nope. Found more matches, though. I know I say lucky, but... A lot recently in this, uh... In this particular playthrough. But, I mean, we, we, we are, man. We got lucky with that. Still haven't found any work boots. Which I'm a little bit sore about. I would like to find those. Um... Alright, now we came from this direction. I'm gonna check down here real fast. Because I think this is just a cave-in. I think. I'm not 100% sure. Okay, there's a cave-in over here. Go this way. And I think both of these ways bring you around to the same area. And then we make a right. Yeah, see, this goes down that way. That went back to where we were. You always want to keep finding the inclines. And, oh, do I see light up ahead? Hold on, guys. I think I see light. Okay, we're going to try and turn our torch out pretty soon. But while I have it... Let's make the best use out of our uh, our little match that we can. Little wool hat there. Check under here, maybe for a candy bar. Nothing. You know what I haven't seen? I haven't. I know that the interloper mode does not give you any of the best clothing. It also looks like it doesn't give you any of the best food. So like I have not seen. Look at all this coal here. I have not seen, for instance, any peanut butter. I haven't seen any. Um, what is the, uh, condensed milk? I haven't seen any of that stuff. Okay. We don't need this anymore. I'm gonna go turn this out. That'll keep it fairly good. And we have plenty of energy left to make it down. What is our encumbrance level at? 32. How much is each piece of coal? Each piece of coal, 0.2 kilograms. I'm gonna grab... Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and grab all this. There's more in here if we need it. We really don't right now. I'm going to take a sip of water. 
And I may even break down this hat. Because I think that the cloth from the hat is going to be slightly less... It's going to weigh slightly less than the hat itself. Yeah, see, the hat's 0.25, and every piece of cloth is only 0.1. So, let's do that. Now, I'm pretty sure that this is not anywhere near as good as our toque. Yeah, it's not at all. We'll break this down. And there's no other clothing for us to break down. Guys, hope you're enjoying the long dark in the interloper mode. We made it through the mine. Now we just have to get to maybe one of the cabins or something over in the coastal highway. And I'm hoping for a lot of good things in the coastal highway. But we've got all the items that we need right now. We have the hacksaw. We have the hammer. We still don't have a can opener. But that's what I'm hoping to find next. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.